Hi everyone. Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts and it is December the 8th and I remember that because yesterday was my son's birthday on December the 7th. So December the 8th I have my little sticky here free shipping Stampin' Up is offering free shipping today uh, just one day only and it's perfect timing because there may be things that are retiring that you will want to get before they sell out and are gone forever. Like the paper I'm gonna show you today. So free shipping, minimum in Canada, $65 before tax and shipping. But you would be saving, the, minim the minimum shipping in Canada is $9.95, so that's a pretty sweet deal. So free shipping, head over to my website, mariannecowan.com and click the shop button and you can shop. Also, a reminder, the clearance rack was updated and there's still some really good deals on there. And as I mentioned, it's the last chance sale. So our current catalog, not the annual one, but our current mini catalog ends at the end of December. So many items are on sale and some aren't on sale, but once they're gone, they're gone. So you wanna pick them up, especially what I'm showing you today which is, well, I'll show it to you in a minute. The other thing coming up is my two new classes I have posted. Hey, Phyllis. One is called Home for the Holidays, and this is for those of you who just would like to do a bit of crafting during the holidays. So it's going to be December 28th and December 30th, both at three o'clock and it will be a Zoom class. So I'll send you a private Zoom link. We're going to be making cards together. I do this with my team all the time, it's lots of fun. So we will be making three cards each day. So you need to register because I need to get the materials out to you. And on the 30th, we'll be playing bingo. So that'll be a lot of fun. Also, if you just want the PDF tutorial, you can purchase that, especially if you don't live in Canada, because I can only ship products in Canada. So option one includes all the materials, the envelopes, the PDF tutorials, and also the artistry blooms adhesive back sequins. That's $40. And then option two is just the PDF tutorial, and that's $20. If you're on my team, Pinery Paper Pals, it's $20. The other event I have advertised, January 29th, Stamp a Stack of Birthday Cards. I always start the new year off with Stamp a Stack of Birthday Cards. So that is the 29th. The first option includes Biggest Wish Stamp Set, awesome stamp set, and I'll show you different ways to use it. $55, and this one includes Cotton Ribbon Combo, and I just got mine. Let me grab it. So this is a new item from the new catalog and I wrote on it because it comes in a bag with two different ribbons. I love the width of this ribbon and it's in petal pink and misty moonlight. Isn't it pretty? So you will be receiving this, this ribbon, assuming shipping happens and everything comes in when it's supposed to. So that will be the ribbon that will go along with the birthday class. And I always include uh, masculine cards as well in the birthday class. And we make 10 cards to each of five designs. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So don't miss out, go to my website and hit events and you can register. All right. Today we are going to be making some cute little treat holders and some tags or just mini cards. You could use them with birthday gifts or the ones I'm showing you today are Christmas ones. And it, we are using the Sweet Little Stockings stamp set, the ribbon, the dots, and the paper. So this paper is retiring. The ribbon is on sales, 10% off. So 
so it's a really pretty ribbon and it's not just a Christmas ribbon it's actually pool party so very versatile ribbon we're gonna be using that and this just makes the sweetest little cards or projects or tags so we're gonna make little three by three cards let's make those second and then we're going to make two little treat boxes so what I've done there's the stamp set and these little guys are so cute so fun to play with um, I'm also using tailor-made tags I think these might be on back order right now but definitely need these in your set these are in the annual catalog penned flowers dies I'm using this nice little scallop one that's a great one as well and for the first two boxes I'm using these note card boxes so these come flat and what's fun about them is they're the perfect size for cards I've made lots of little packs of cards they come flat so you can cut them to customize them if you don't want to use them for cards so today I'm going to use them for a treat holder so I cut it to fit these delicious little lint doppio latte uh, candies because I thought they were a cute color and they match they reminded me of pool party they're not really pool party so once I cut off the three and a half inches I needed for this box then I had this little box left everything sticks to these I had this little piece left and so I thought oh these would be cute for these little snowmen and I get these at in Canada home sense maybe TJ Maxx where you are it says La Suisse but they're made in Italy they're milk chocolate filled with cocoa cream and you get a big bag of them for $5.99 so I'm already thinking about winter stamp camp so that actually winter stamp camp the registration for early bird um, early bird registration ends December 15th so you'll want to get in on that hey Wanda you dug clams last night we're not digging any clams out here okay so this one is three and a half inches and this one is whatever was left over let me measure two and a quarter so then what you do this is what I do there's a gazillion ways to do this but here's what I do so my DSP is four and five sixteenths that's the width and then my piece is five and a quarter then I took my little the little scallop and scalloped die cut it so it's scalloped along the top and then I scored it at three and a half and four and an eighth and to be honest first I put my paper in then I did a little pencil mark to know where to score it and then I just measured it again and scored it that's how I did it so this is going to tuck into the back so I have the twos I probably could have squeezed one more in I did try to fit it into half of the box but it didn't look good so I thought why don't I just cut it a different size so you're just gonna pop this in the back and then it'll fold over you can tuck it in but I'm gonna keep it like this so that you just open it and we're going to use this really nice pool party striped gross grain grow grain I don't know how you say that ribbon that's good, what's going to hold it shut so I probably want to put a glue dot on the back so it will stay shut and I'm gonna use my ribbon scissors not sure if I want a bow or a knot uh, and I'll show you what else I'm adding to this. So it's cute because it shows you on the inside, you can see one side of the designer series paper. And then when you fold it over, you see the other side. So it's nice to have a piece of paper that's coordinating front and back. And this one definitely is. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that because I wanna see what else I wanna do. So then I have the designer series paper. What's it called? sweet stockings so I have a little piece 
I cut, I think that's with the two and a quarter, I use punches. And this cat just kills me. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. So for this piece, a couple of the sheets have images of the dog and the cat. We're gonna use some of the other ones later. And then this cat <laughs> cracks me up. And also the dog and these little cats. And then some other patterns as well. But these are just so useful. You can just use the paper and get all these images. So that's what I did. I just cut the face of the cat. Then I have Peace, Joy and Kisses. That's from the stamp set. So we want this to end up looking something like this. That there. And then our little tag hanging off. All right, so I think I want my bow over here. That's what I was trying to decide. And I'm going to put some hmm, tearing tape on the back. Probably would have been easier to put it on the actual box than to try to get it off of here. Let's just be hopeful. All right. Now I do want to make sure I put this in the right spot. So we'll hope that's the right spot. Mm, not really. Okay, change of plan. The bow is going to go on this side. That'll work. I didn't leave myself a ton of space. All right, that looks cute. Let's just get this a nice little trim. When I, now that I've cut it um, so tight, it will be a little bit tricky to tie another bow, but that's okay. Let's take this one and Add it to the blue. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else? This looks, reminds me of Grumpy Cat. So I am going to put this right on the ribbon. It's going to hold the ribbon in place. So instead of putting it right on the ribbon, I've put it on either side so that it'll keep it to this piece of paper. I don't think anyone's going to reuse this box anyways. Okay, we've got that and that. And let's just take some pool party. No, it's not pool party. Some baker's twine, some linen thread. Can't talk today. Baker's twine would be cute. Let me get. white baker's twine would be cute. So I'm just going to make a little bow or I might just tie it right around here. You could also attach it somehow over here but hey Diane. There we go. So there's our first little box with these nice little lint candies. And if you're in Ottawa, I always go to the lint, well not always, yes, I always get my lint chocolates at the factory outlet in Tanger. And they're usually pretty cheap. So now we have our matte decorative dots that match this paper. So, hmm. oh my gosh, this cat. I like these ones because they're almost ombre. So you can pick these ones at the bottom that are lighter and then it gets a bit darker at the top. I think that's enough for this one. So that's 
it for that ribbon. And now we're going to do our little snowman one. So I have four little snowmen. And I love this paper. <gasps> sneak peek. So this is a sneak peek of paper in the upcoming celebration. So this paper is actually free as a celebration item. I can't show you inside the catalog yet. But um, it starts the 4th of January. And if you're one of my regular customers, I'll pop one in your bag next time you have a class or an order. So it's the January to June catalog, lots of beautiful spring things. This ribbon is gorgeous. So this paper I'm going to show you is actually a free paper. Wanda, I had never seen them either, but they actually were in a bag by themselves. So I've never seen them at the stores, though, just in the outlet. So this is called Sunshine and Rainbows Celebration Designer Series Paper. It's a whole suite of products in the catalog that coordinates their dies and stamp set. I don't know if it's a suite, but there's a die and stamp set. And look just how fun these colors are. I love when we switch to um, the nice bright colors. By this time I'm getting a little tired of Old Olive and Cherry Cobbler. So this is just fun and bright. So this is the one we're using. So this is a pack of six by six. It's 48 pieces, so you have 12 different designs. So front and back, I always do front and back of the papers. And here are the other ones. I just think it's so fun. And there's a new cloud punch that I'm pretty sure must coordinate with this paper right here, that sheet. And these are all the colors that coordinate with this particular paper. So I thought that was fun. So just because I didn't want to do a Christmas one, I want to do something more wintry. So we're just going to do that like that. And then we're going to use this beautiful pool party. I wonder if we could do this one like this. Just for something different. And I also have a little tag just for you. Maybe we'll do it right in the middle. You really just want to keep your lid closed. So I use the same little scallop on this one. Obviously this size is different because the box is less than half. I think it was two and a quarter, did I say? That's pretty. But how fun would these be to give us a little gift? Let's use some more of that white Baker's Twine. This comes in a pack. It's the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And you get five of them. It's 35 yards. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So you must get seven yards of each. I love making up little packages. So let's just tie this. I did have another one. I did like this one, but as soon as you put it on, you're covering up all the snowmen, so that wasn't going to work for me. So we'll just again tie a little knot. And next we're going to make up some little 3x3 three three cards, and I'll show you all the cute little characters in that paper. So a lot of the items are wall quantities last, so if you want the paper, and you could just tuck that in like that. Let's grab our embellishments. So these match the paper, but this is different paper, but you can see how, what a great set this is. So these are going away as well. I want the bright yellow ones. And even this blue would be good. Cute. So we have our grumpy cat. We have our little snowman. And I could have trimmed it down, but uh, I thought it's good to have the space above the snowman so that when you put your little topper on, you're not hiding them because they're super cute. Okay. Now we're going to make some little three by three cards and then put them in this little box. This box is called 
three and an eighth by three and an eighth acetate card boxes. So the other ones were note card boxes. Actually, they're not note cards, they're just regular card boxes. And these are the three and an eighth by three and an eighth. So you can make your cards three by three. Let's see if we have time. And you can also buy little envelopes for the three by three cards. So the envelopes, let me just make sure I measured everything right. Yeah, so they're just a little bit bigger, so three by three card fits in perfectly. And we're gonna put those in the box. So I've just used Whisper White, Basic White, not Whisper White, Basic White. And then I'm just gonna show you all the different papers. So this is one of the papers. And I love this, oh, there's that other side. Oh my gosh, adorable. This reminds me of a knit sweater. So I cut these ones very close to three. I did two and seven eighths. And then I just you just take a punch and punch out whichever little character you want because his sweater matches this paper. These are going to be quick and easy little note cards. I did use the layering circle dies for this one, but I did use a punch for that one. I'm sure you have punches in your stash. Yes, it always helps if the card fits in the envelope. I couldn't remember exactly if the envelope was three by three or not. I did, I figured, I, I've made these before. There we go. These are like quick and simple little cards. Nothing fancy. I love these dots. Okay, so there's the first one. Put it with an envelope. So here's a different one of the papers. It's a really pretty one as well. And not, but that would be cute for winter. And there's the little stockings on the back. So again, I'm just gonna add the designer series paper to the front. We should have folded it first. You could also not use the envelopes and just have it on the top of the gift or with a little string. This is one of the other papers and I fussy cut out a bunch of the little characters. I did that a long time ago. I think I was at the cottage when I did that, when I first got this paper. So these are quick and easy tags. And then I have this little mouse and I'm gonna put him inside. Isn't that cute? Another little envelope for that one. And then here's Grumpy Cat again. Oh my gosh, he cracks me up. So I took two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and then I punched out the middle so I could use it uh, as a top layer. You just have to make sure you do it right in the middle because I know my next layer is pretty close in size. So next I have the cute little string of lights which is actually the back of that. So we'll lay that up. And this one I think is one and a quarter punch. And then I just did quarter inch above. And then we'll pop him up. Hey, Judith. And you could put a little piece of ribbon behind here if you want. I'm just doing really simple today add a couple, I don't even know where I would add any dots here. No, nope. I'm not feeling it. Okay, so let's fold that one. So now we have all our cards. And just fold our box up. 
These are so simple and easy to use. The camera seems really close. So we'll put our cards in. It'll hold more than this, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is have this one on the front. You're not really gonna be able to see it. And the one on the back, I'm gonna turn around so that you can see cards on both sides. Sometimes you just have to get it past that little flap. All right. Wouldn't this be a cute little gift? And you didn't, you won't, you don't have to make them for Christmas. Now we have our little dog. All these little puppies are making me miss my puppy. Well, she wasn't a puppy, but. Okay, so we're gonna wrap. Some of the ribbon that I tossed. You can do it either way. I'm going to do it this way so it doesn't have to come off when you open the box. I'm going to make it a little bit longer this time. That's going to fit. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna tie a nice bow. So this ribbon is on sale. It's retiring. Hey, Teresa. Maybe it's the weather. We had, our power went out earlier, like randomly. All right. So there we have our ribbon, and then we're just going to add our little pup ribbon's kind of in the way, but that's okay. He's still cute. This looks like my sister's dog. There we go. So now we have our... How many cards did we make? Four little cards inside, or three. No, we only did three. Our three little cards... Our little snowman and our lint chocolates. So if you're still making things for little stocking stuffers or um, just little gifts, you know uh, my parents moved into a retirement home so I often drop off gifts at the person at the front desk or the person that's serving them lunch. Well you know people just like being appreciated. Okay I can't help it. I think Grumpy Cat needs Wink of Stella. Oh my gosh. Some cats are grumpy too. Our cat was not grumpy, but I know some cats are grumpy. All right, so these two went together and that, that's one box. And then this is the little three by three boxes. Let me show you where they are in the catalog. And just a reminder, Winter Stamp Camp, you want to sign up for that. So there's a whole section in the catalog called Packaging Basics. So number four is the little acetate square boxes. And the note card boxes. Oh, acetate card. I was going to say, I don't see them. They're right here. It's because it's all covered up with paper. Acetate card boxes. So they hold, the regular card box would hold a regular card and envelope. So they're the size, I know because I, here's one we did for our breast cancer class. It's perfect. You can fit a good five, maybe even six with envelopes. So that's the card just by itself. And then if you pop an envelope in, which I just happen to have, that's a really nice gift. If you know someone, especially someone in a retirement home, because a lot of the people that live in retirement homes can't get out. So a nice little box of all occasion cards. 
would be beautiful and very appreciated, I would think. So that's this box. Four and a quarter by five and a half. And then the other one is this little three and an eighth by three and an eighth. Oh, you got six in? Yeah, it depends off how flat your cards are. If they've got a lot of pop-ups and embellishments, then maybe not. But um, if they're pretty flat layered, then you, you could probably get six. It's just a beautiful gift for somebody that they would really appreciate it. I give a, a little box to my mother-in-law every year at Christmas. So thank you for joining me today. Reminder, clearance rack was updated. And when those things sell out, they're gone. And there's some really good deals there. Last chance sale is on right now. And free shipping. So your order in Canada has to be $65 before tax and shipping. Well, you would get your shipping free. Because in Canada, minimum shipping is $9.95. So that's a really good deal. Thank you for joining me on Friday. We are going to be making a box using these little cards, or the same paper. And a 3D, no, not a 3D, a box and a pop-up card, a uh, fun fold card. So you can see how with the little acetate boxes, you can see the front and the back. Oh my gosh, that cat, that's hilarious. Okay, thanks, yes, today only. Thanks, Teresa. Ship, free shipping from Stampin' Up! is only today. So get your orders in now. You may as well. You may as well buy yourself something for Christmas. Or buy somebody else something for Christmas. Thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. Yes, Judith. And I bet the people that receive it really love it. I had someone email me the other day. She, I, I donate my cards to various locations. And she had bought some at the hairdresser. And so she was looking for some more. And I sell them, but I donate all the money back to, that was breast cancer. Right now I'm donating the money to hospice. Anyway, she emailed me the other day looking for Christmas cards and said that everybody that received the other cards that she had loved them so much that she wanted to buy some Christmas cards. So I know people really do love handmade cards and handmade projects. All right, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification button so that you will know when I go live. Thank you everyone, and we'll see you Friday. Enjoy your evening, and we'll see you Friday for Fun Fold Friday. Thanks for joining me.